Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited about today's video because today we're going to be talking about the 2% mindset. So did you know that only 2% of the population are doing the following things? They're going for their dreams. They're exploring new things. They're confident. They choose happiness. They are living a fulfilled life. They embrace the unknown. They're excited. And chances are they're excited about pretty much everything that they do. They like change. They live without limits. They act even when they are scared. But while 2% of the population are doing those things, the other 98% are doing these things. And I need you to listen carefully because I need you to find, figure out if you fall in this 98%. So they're being like everyone else. Why? Because it's easier to be like everybody else than it is to step out and do you. Because that way, if you fail, nobody's going to notice it because you're just like everybody else. They're insecure. They're just surviving. They're living in fear. And as we know, fear stands for false evidence appearing real. And it's real to the people that are experiencing this fear. And this is a perfect segue for me to let you know that I'm going to be doing a series on fear. We're going to really look at fear. We're going to break it down. We're going to unpackage it and figure out how to help you move past. Your They're just getting by. They're playing it safe. They live within their comfort zone. And as we've seen before, nothing grows in the comfort zone. In order for you to grow as a person, you have got to step out of your comfort zone and you've got to do the things that you don't necessarily want to do, but they're things that will help you become a better person and, and pretty much every area of your life if you just step out of that comfort zone. They live a dull life. They live a life with regrets. And I'm also going to be doing a series on regrets as well. But I can tell you this, I have always said to myself that I don't want to come to the end of my life and I look back and I have regrets about anything. So I want to be able to say I've lived a full life. I've done the things that I wanted to do. I went to the places that I wanted to go and I met the people that I wanted to meet. I don't want to live with regrets and I don't want you to live with regrets either. So we're going to be talking about regrets and how we can move past that. They procrastinate. Now, I won't lie. I do procrastinate on some things, but that's just because I really don't want to do it. But I'm learning and I'm working on that so that, you know, I can just get things done and not wait to the last minute. And then I'm rushing to do them. And so procrastination is very, very huge with this 98 percent. And they settle for less. <clears throat> they settle for less than what they really deserve, and that in and of itself is sad. So as you listen to two percent and the ninety eight percent, I want you to ask yourself, where do you fall within those two groups? If you're in the two percent, I give you two thumbs up. Keep up the great work. If you're in that ninety eight percent, we have some work to do. We, we really do. We have some work to do. Now, some of you fall in between the two percent and the ninety eight percent. So what you need to do is make your list. And if you have more things on that list that fall in that 98%, then we have work to do because we need to look at that, break it down. Let's figure out how we can get you out of that 98% and into the 2% mindset. So with that being said, until our next video, I want you to start working on having a 2% mindset.